excited, folks. And happy Easter Monday. Well, probably by the time you watch this, it'll, Easter weekend will be gone. Because by the time I've edited it, I'm not exactly the world's speediest editor. So it'll probably be midweek by the time it goes up. But I hope you had a good Easter weekend. But the bank holiday Monday here is... Um, the weather's... It's been persisting it down. Drizzly weather, one, one minute, then chucking it down. So yeah, I'm at a bit of a loose end this afternoon. Nothing much planned. So I thought I'd set myself an Easter Monday challenge. I've got to find some chalky, chalky eggs. Very important. Maybe look for somewhere sort of with a religious, religious sort of feel or vibe. And um, because of obviously the the um, the Easter weekend, you can't get much more religious sort of weekend than that. And um, a hot brew. You need a hot brew to eat chocolate, right? It's got to be done. And also, I thought, like the last video, the little trip to the Beatles Museum, I'll knock a quick sand track up. Now, I had, uh, I've had an idea floating. I've always got ideas floating up, but I had an, an, an idea for a finger picky song in G. So I might try and knock that up in Garage Band and use that as a soundtrack to part of the, the video that I'm going to make this afternoon, hopefully. Fingers crossed. Yeah, the, the song is in G. It goes a bit like this. as well but you get this a nice little ditty I mean it's not gonna I don't think it's gonna make me a million dollars I mean how many songs do you know that go from to the E minor G to the E minor it's probably in almost every successful pop song you could name well not every but you know what I mean but yeah so I'll have a tinker around with that it's in G major so I might stick a couple of, I might stick the, um, you know, you've got the, the major to minor, minor, major, so I might. Maybe put a diminished in there. So I'll, I'll stick to the, sort of like the chord, the chord scale, if you like, of G major. See what comes out. Maybe even put maybe put a little bit of a melody over the top. We'll see what happens in Garage Band. Yeah, so there's the task. Uh, chalky eggs, brew, write a quick song soundtrack, and find somewhere religious. What could go wrong? Okay, guys. So uh, yeah, here we are again in Garage Band. I've opened a new track I'm getting a I'm getting a level there yeah it's not clipping oh let's try volume up slightly one two one two yeah okay so we don't want a counting or a tempo again as I said this will be a, as in the last one be kitchen sink job this hit record and let's see if we can do a one take wonder. forgot to mention as well folks don't forget to like and subscribe
So here's the top shop in Sunny Flint. So let's let's pop in here and see if we can sort ourselves out. Success guys. Mini cream eggs. I did want um I did want just the mini eggs, you know, with the hard shells, but these will do. They didn't have the uh, actual uh, mini mini eggs, the popular mini eggs, you know, that everybody gets with the in the in the main Easter eggs. But we'll try one of them. So first task complete. Now we're going to find something with the with the religious feel to it so the obvious one seems to be find a well-known um, landmark like religious site or a church or a chapel or what have you so I was thinking let's just watch these little nooks and crannies on this estate here because it's full of boy races yeah I was thinking of oh, chalky chalky eggs mini chalky eggs especially you need a hot drink don't you slow you sit down with Easter egg chocolate and you make yourself a hot brew so that you can stuff your face your gob full of chocolate and then take a sip of the hot brew and it all sort of melts in your mouth it's like Jesus Christ what could be better and I'm blaspheming there on the holiest of Mondays God forgive me a famous local landmark is a church called the Marble Church which I've passed many a time on previous videos and it just so happens that they built this church next to a Costa Coffee believe it or not who would have thought eh? Uh, we're just going past uh, our favourite car wash here it treats your car like a spa as long as it accepts the code. Yeah, so anyway, yeah, who'd have thought it? They built, they built a chapel right next to a coaster. Great plan, eh? So that's where we're gonna head, the Marble Church. So, it's Easter Monday. We've got our chocolate eggs. We've got our, um, our church visit. And we've also got a hot drink, a hot brew that we can enjoy with our mini eggs. So come on, let's get going. This person in front of us is trying to break the land speed record. Mind you, I haven't said that. Am I? Yeah, no, I'm out of the 20 mile an hour zone now. I'm in the 50 mile an hour zone. So it's 50 mile an hour again, this person in front is doing 30. There you go. Anyway, we'll pick it up when we get near to the church, guys.
dismal. But you can just make out the um, spire there coming into centre shot as we go into this flyover here. This little bridge. Yeah, and that's uh, the Marble Church in Bottlewidden. Up over the flyover. right next to a Costa on the right here and a spa shop look and a subway and to, to top things off the Costa is even a drive through so I'm free enough to get out the car now let's have a look see if I wonder if this uh, church is open today to the public it should be shouldn't it the only thing is there may be a service on there so if that's the case I'm not going to be able to start waltzing up and down and traipsing up and down with my phone pretending I'm uh, some big shots uh, filmmaker am I? Well we can have a little nose can't we? There it is, St Margaret's Church Church doors open now. Great. So come on, guys. Let's go in and have a little look round. Yeah, so there it is, guys. St. Margaret's Church. Or locally known as the Marble Church. Here in Bottle Within. And an Easter Monday. Go, oh, guys. Walk into the main, the main doorway archway. To hopefully, get us into the marble church. A sneaky peek through the through the bushes here. Isn't it glorious? Definitely got like a gothic style to it, hasn't it? I think it's recently been gone through a cleanup program because a few months back it was actually it was actually uh, surrounded by scaffolding. Fantastic, eh? Come on, let's go inside, get out the rain. Glorious looking chapel guys, or church rather. I'm whispering because mind you there's nobody in here so it won't be disturbing. Yeah, 
Yep, St. Margaret's Church, Bottle Within, part of the Abbot Martha Mission area. And there shall be one flock. There's a bit of a bump on the church, guys. Date 1856. It took four and a half years to build. It cost £60,000, which would be about £7 million as of 2017. John Gibson, former apprentice to Sir Charles Barry, who built the new house common, was the architect. Lady Willoughby de Brooke was a donor, and the material was mainly limestone of marble quality from North Wales, so local limestone of marble quality. The main pillars, singular shafts of Belgian red marble. I'm guessing that's, that's this red marble here. Get out blinding. Roof is hammer beam and no screws or nails were used in its construction. Wow. Flooring is Sicilian marble. The sanctuary has gold letters on panels. The church has 116 soldiers graves, 83 Canadian soldiers, 33 British soldiers. Church of Bottle with them. So that was a visit to uh, St. Margaret's Church in Bottlewidden, otherwise known as the Marble Church. And as we've learned from the info there, it was limestone of marble quality from local sources here in North Wales. Yep. You can see some of the pillars, smaller pillars there. Surrounding the inner just the inner nave here but yeah beautiful place guys that's another part of our task completed this afternoon so 
let's just have a walk down the main the main aisle here if I turn back to look into the to the main what's this place called the vestibule is it or the nave I'm not sure stunning though isn't it goodbye to Margaret there, the bust of Margaret. Let's have a quick look around the grounds before we do the next part of our task, which is get a hot brew. Who's this here? That's Lady Margaret again there, look. Come on guys, let's have a quick look around the grounds. Yeah, that's an impressive spire isn't it? Very gothic. There's an impressive looking gargoyle here on the end, on the gable end of this side. Have a look at that tower up there, guys. The rain's eased off a little bit. Oh, yeah, he's keeping a watchful eye out, isn't he? Look how small the door is. Blimey, I'm not sure how to fit through that, guys. <laughs> Let's go easy on them chocolate Easter eggs. There's another guy going on the end there. Too much BD, BDI though. BDI is us. Definitely a gothic vibe there, isn't it, guys? So that's it guys, a little look around St. Margaret's Church, and as I said when we were just leaving inside there, our next task is to find ourselves a hot brew, so 
it's back to the the old jalopy there and I think Costas is down that way come on let's go Um, the chocolate, little chocolate cornflake cakes with the mini eggs on the top. Um, I'll just check for you. Yeah, yeah can I have one of those and um, a caramel latte, please, to take away? Yeah. To, oh, to, sorry? Sorry, was it medium? Uh, yeah, the medium will be fine, yeah. That's it, thank you. Cheers. Right, well, guys, I couldn't resist. You've got to have a choppy cornflake cake that's got mini eggs on, haven't you? If, if, they're, if they're available. You only live once, eh? Thank you. Sorry. Has it got uh, it's got caramel in it, hasn't it? Have you got a thing to stir it up? Should be sweet enough, shouldn't it? With that. You've got to watch this weight with these chalky eggs, haven't you? <laughs> Cheers. Thank you. See ya. Okay guys. So that's the other part of the task complete. Brew. And as you can see, I couldn't resist, even though I bought a bag of mini cream eggs. I wanted me mini, proper mini choppy eggs. The ones with the hard shell. So they were doing the little cornflake cakes there. So it had to be done, I bought one. And that's all this bloody traffic come from. Let's get by the church. Yes. That'll do us, guys. Right. Okay. So, take these off. So, yeah. Hot brew. Now she asked if I wanted sugar and I was good. I said no because there's caramel in it. So it should be sweet enough to give it a good stir. The last time I went in there I got one of these and I forgot to stir it. So it was quite bitter until right at the end and then I got a gob full of caramel. It's a lot of, sort of like a, a sugar rush right at the end. <laughs> Chalky eggs, which have dropped off. There you go, guys. A bit disappointing on the chalky egg front there. But we've got two of them, so we'll put them off. Bit of hot brew. I'm melting already. And we've got the glorious marble church to our right here now. I only wanted the chocolate eggs, it's all about the cornflake. 
but yeah and I think I think I might set another task to go with the chalky eggs the religious the religious angle <laughs>